Alright, welcome to another edition of Physics is Fun, but not really. <laughs> yeah, Pyro made a video. Yeah, three videos, three little videos. Um, he did me little pieces, little quantum videos. <laughs> so we'll get to that later. Um, anyway, okay, whatever. Um, ugh, it's just impossible. But we we'll might as well just go through it. Uh, why not? Um, so so he's, his basic point is, is that uh, the only model is the... Pfft, probability wave model which is a basically just saying we don't know it's all fucked up let's run away um i mean it, it, it really is just you know it really is somebody having the problem with the gun not firing very accurately and just saying hey it must be a probability fuck shit wave that's what's causing it and then then maybe somebody like matt will say Ah, but I bet you the probability fuck shit wave is, is controlled by the Master God universe thing. And if we pray to him, you know, or we, you know, caress him just right in the right organ, uh, he will please us with making our little gun work better. I mean, that's, this is just nonsense. All right, to say, and then to argue, this is it. The probab it's got a, there's actually a thing called a probability wave. And it's not made out of probability. It's... But, well, I mean, it's not made out of something that has probability. It's actually made out of probability self. I mean, you're talking about the actual letters, P, whatever, R, O, whatever, you know. You're, you're saying that the, 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 it's actually made out of the spelling of the word probability because it's impossible for it to be made out of probability uh, without something doing the probabling. Oh, God. But, any oh, this is just so... Look, all right, and then the other argument is, is, you know, he's just clinging to the, oh, yeah, there's all this stuff to figure out. Yeah, we can figure out a new color, you know, like, um, Pyunxus for our cell phones. And yet, there, there is some technology to figure out. Virtual reality would be a good little technology to figure out. Um, but there's, there, there's really, we, we've got the game down here. We already got it figured out. Um, space is basically unexplorable shit. Okay, there's nothing out there. There's nothing. It's crap. We can't get to it. If there is anything, we can't get to it. So fuck it. It's a dead zone. All right. Um, evolution is dumb. We figured that out. Evolution is dumb as a fucking brick. All right. It's a DNA fucking molecule. Period. Uh, dumb, dumb, dumb. Stupid. Idiotic. Uh, has things eating each other. Really unproductive. Uh, give, gives people canker sores and such. Really dumb. All right, and uh, life is futile, okay? It's basically just um, an illogical um, addiction, you know, that's all. An illogical addiction, and uh, based on want and need, injected at birth, uh, and uh, there's no way to ever make it pay for itself because there's nothing to make it, there's nothing to make money out of. There's nothing to make profit out of in life. Because all, the best you can do is satisfy some portion of the huge volume of need created. Um, so it's a zero-sum game. That's a good. That's a good. Zero-sum game. Okay, that's the best we could ever do is get to the zero-sum game part. <laughs> you know, we can clean up 98% of the milk, and that's the best we can fucking do. And that's the game. That's where we're stuck. That's the fucking goddamn material universe. All right, it's a shithole. All right, so anyway, um, you know, and there's no free anything, and, you know, the whole idea of the free will thing was just preposterous anyway. Even a god, you can't even imagine a god having a free will. What the fuck does that mean? You know, like something else communicates the idea to it? Like, it, that can't figure it out itself, so something else communicates it? I mean, the only thing you could have a free will about is like, okay, I'm horribly undecided. Shall I paint my nose red, or shall I paint my nose green? And so you're, like, really 50-50. You're really 50-50. And the only thing like a free will could do is like push you a little bit to that side or a little bit to that side. And that's all it can do. But why, why would it push you to one side or the other? It doesn't know whether red, and green, red, red or blue is the right color, does it? No, it doesn't. So what's the fucking point? There's no fucking free will. We're program machines. I'm just like that fucking computer in so many fucking ways. Um, you know, garbage in, garbage out. Uh, quit pretending this is means something. So let's get to okay. Let's get to the physics part now. Okay. All right. So look, your models suck. Your models. Your model is is abdication. Your model is the Pope explanation. We have something and we're going to cling to it because it's completely simplistic and solves the problem because it's a non-model. All right. You didn't. Mo you have no model. Your model is magic. 
You're, that's all your motto is. Magic and magic does it. Magic, magic's the magic's the answer. It's magic. And it's bullshit. All right. So here, here you go. Um, I will now unify the laws and gravity, and I'll unify everything. Here, here we go. Here's the unification theory for you, just for you. Um, spontaneously put together in the last 20 minutes. Um, let's say the universe. Let's say that the universe is made out of. It's all matter, okay? Even the part where there's no matter, it's matter, okay? So there's no such thing as empty space. Let's let's just say that. Let's say the, and let's go with the Einstein thing. Let's go with the Einstein suggestion. So Einstein suggested a fabric, and because that was a two-dimensional model for a three-dimensional universe, okay? And so we sort of get it that you have to move the fabric around and all that kind of stuff. All right, so let's just forget the fabric part, and let's just go with like a foam, okay? Or a... Um, something else some some like a nerf nerf okay so let's say the whole fucking universe is made out of nerf a special kind you know a nerf that can that has this elasticity to it okay and let's say the the fundamentals of the nerf the thing that makes the nerf work is that there's these little things and all they can do is be compressed and they can be expanded and that's it and they can only do this much they can either go this much compression or this much expansion and so let's just say the whole universe is made out of that. And there's no empty space. It's just compression and expansion. So you start off with this neutral universe, okay? Nothing's compressed. Nothing's expanded. And you fuck it up, okay? You, you wave it, okay? Um, and so now there's expansion and, and compression happening all over the place. And now there's these rules. Now all I have to do is dictate what the rules are. So when something compresses, um, it, it, it pulls on the thing next to it. And on, one, on the other side, it, it attaches to whatever is on the other side of it. So, so then you have that, so, so you have a rule that says compression can consolidate, all right? Um, so, so now we start to, now you can start to get the idea of mass consolidating, because now you have a bunch of compression, that compression built on top of compression. Um, and uh, and that it, it, that the implication of that is that that compression creates stretch in all the um, matter extending from there to a certain point, okay, whatever the point would be. Obviously it would be more expansion at the little things closer and less expansion at the things further away. Alright, let's just say that's what the universe is made out of. And let's say those little things, we'll call them photonia, okay, <laughs> and let's just say that they're not, you know, like I said, they're, they don't really move but they can transmit their compression and expansion. A vibration can travel through them so that something can, you know, think and it can move. Uh, the, the wave of energy can move through them in this compression fans fashion. And that is determined, the speed of that is determining the speed of light. So that's the fastest two things can communicate is the vibration between each one of those fontonias or whatever. Um, this is really getting convoluted, but what the hell? I got a few more minutes. Um, all right, so then you can have so so then you have a structure that will permit wave-like behavior and particle behavior, all depending on whether how you can direct it. So just like with light, like say there's a difference between a laser beam and uh, an unfocused beam of light. There. Are theoretically could be a difference between uh, a focused energy where it travels very efficiently through the photonia foam and one that's sort of in between and so it scatters and there's a bunch of vibration um, of compression or expansion. Um, uh, let's see, so yeah, but this whole slit experiment, you're, we're talking about interference, the fact that um, a structure slits slits have to be made of something all right the fact that something density mass okay would interfere in the um, path of a photon is a given i mean i think right it's a given i mean that's a that's an einstein kind of thing i mean it's denting the space that the photon is traveling through the photon will be or electron will be disturbed by that indentation that gravity or that magnetism or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I really didn't unify anything, did I? I didn't unify magnetism anyway, I don't think. Um, but whatever. Uh, you know, I'm just saying there's, there's ways to model this that will make 
ten thousand percent more sense than to just give up and say it's a probability wave that's just a cop-out it's a huge giant cop-out I mean, like I said, they could go, we could go back 250 years ago. I could say to the guy who's trying to hit the goddamn Coke bottle from 20 feet away, I could just say, give up, okay? It's a probability wave, man. You, you ain't going to make it no better. You, there's no way you can control these variables or these forces. It's a probability wave, man. The bullet's going to fly. It's going to do crazy ass shit. So fuck you. Don't bother thinking about it. Don't bother working on it. Just give up. Call it a probability wave and sit on the couch. I mean, that's what you're saying. It's just bullshit. There's an explanation for how this universe works. Einstein was not wrong to say, you know, God is not drunk. There's no spontaneous. There's no fucking God. It's just it's bullshit, okay? It's just fucking bullshit. All we need to do is more study. We need to do more modeling. We do more analyzing of the data we have. But it's just stupid when these are the smallest particles in the known physical universe. And you fucktards are telling me we can't know. I mean, bullshit.